Meanwhile, in Tupac news, the shooting of Tupac Shakur once again underscores the violence that has surrounded this man since he shot the superstar. To Pulled up, open fire, Shakur and Knight. Tupac Shakur was shot several times in the chest. Shakur was pronounced dead. Machiavellianist, Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot at Faith in our law, believe in me and this plastic Cause so far I didn't witness too many dead niggas in caskets Yafufula was a name that a lot of people have thrown back in our faces There was one witness, Yafufula said that he could identify the shooter yep. Big thing is everybody says that he said he could identify the shooter No he did not uh, Yafufula, who was in the front seat with me, was staring out of the window. So he saw the Cadillac before it even approached the car. He never said that to us. He said he might be able to identify the driver. That is what he said. And he told the police right off, I saw who did it. And it's stunning to think that, okay, he said that and they didn't say, yeah, who is it? But they didn't. Is with they chest plate stretched like elastic And what's worse, I'm on front line Holding down camp, still mashing Only Gab can do it like this They said, okay, we want you to come in and make a statement And, you know, at some point in the future They didn't even set a time We tried to re-interview him The problem was This is a big country People go wherever, you know We don't have tracking devices on them after speaking with officers on the scene, the police's main witness, Yafu Fula, had said he would give a full statement to detectives. So we have to depend on people that we know we can get in touch with to, go, to try and reach out to them. But promises to meet with the police are never kept, and two months later, Fula is shot in the back of the head. Yafu Fula's murder is the most troubling because it happened. Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building, and this is Machiavelli Media. Now this right here, I made this video strictly for the naysayers. For the ones that told me that Gaddafi never said live on TV that he could identify Tupac Shooter. Here it is right here. VH1 did a like a mini series called Famous Celebrity Crimes. And one of them they had was Tupac Shakur. And in this, you know, this one series about Tupac, even the reporters knew that Gaddafi went on air and said to the, the Las Vegas PD that he could identify Tupac's murderer. This is a fact. And, you know, the whole idea of the Las Vegas PD being part of a cover-up or some type of collusion is all based in the fact that why would they lie? Why would you change Gaddafi's statement? Gaddafi said he could identify the shooter. The cover-up is when they say Gaddafi said he could identify the driver. That's a huge difference. That is a huge difference because it's a very distinct difference between someone participating in the murder to someone actually committing the murder. So that changed everything by them changing his words. But I heard it, you know, this, this police officer from this documentary, Tupac Assassination, says that... A lot of people reached out to them and said they dropped the ball with Gaddafi because they heard it as well. Other people heard it. This was live on television when he said, yes, he was going to tell, he could tell who killed Tupac Shakur. And they let him go scot-free and the rest is history. Then they lied and said they... they they said they did talk to him. They got a statement from him, but it was a foolish statement. Then they said they didn't get a chance to talk to him. He didn't know how to track him down. Well, which one is it, man? Because I think it's very important. You know, these mishaps, we can't just say it was poor police work. Maybe it was. Maybe they were totally disinterested in trying to solve this Tupac murder case. Or maybe it's something bigger. Maybe... They don't want to solve it. <laughs> Did you ever think about that?
But don't tell us, don't pee on us and tell us it's raining, man. I mean, nobody's that stupid. Now, a few of y'all eat whatever they feed you. You've been brainwashed. You've been told um, this is what happened. And that's the end of it. Nothing to see here. Keep moving. But if you look a little bit closer, from the very jump, the Las Vegas PD told a bunch of lies. And the one thing about lies is one lie leads to the next one. And when someone's telling a lie, the cover up is always worse than the crime. You know, by the time you say, yeah, well, this is exactly what happened. By the time you speak the truth, instead of doing that, you didn't told 50 lies because you told one initial lie. Gaddafi, for the record, said live on TV that, yes, he was willing to tell who killed Tupac. Yes, he could identify Tupac's shooter. Frank Alexander, different members of the Outlaws, said Gaddafi had the best seat out of everybody. He was in the car directly behind Tupac and Shug's BMW, and he was in the passenger side front seat. So he saw the white Cadillac ride directly beside him and then open fire on Tupac. Live on the strip, this footage right here is the same footage that the police had in that possession, that the news station had in that possession. It happened moments right after the shooting occurred when Gaddafi said, yes, I can identify the shooter. You know, um, Muta said that Gaddafi said he could identify the shooter. It's no mystery. The only mystery here is why does the Las Vegas PD say Gaddafi never said that? That's the mystery. And why is the physical evidence of Gaddafi saying that disappeared from the face of the earth never to be found again? Why? If Orlando Anderson was a lone wolf and he acted by himself, then why lie for Orlando Anderson? Does that make sense to you? Would Las Vegas PD lie for a Compton gangbanger? Huh? Is the hate and disdain for Tupac so great between him and law enforcement that they blatantly would uh, keep justice from being served? You know, just think for a minute. You heard Frank Alexander come out and say that they was trying to tell the Las Vegas PD exactly what happened. And Las Vegas PD claimed nobody in the party was cooperative. Nobody would tell them the information they needed. None of the bodyguards, none of the band members, nobody wanted to help be forthright with, you know, trying to get justice for Tupac. And that's not true because moments after the shooting occurred, you heard you had Gaddafi, a longtime friend or family member of Tupac, say openly in front of everybody he was willing to tell. I think that's major. Oh, yeah, I think that's big. And I want to know why did they twist the man's words around? You know, they gave this cockam cockamamie, dumb, you know, uh, statement that he, they say he gave. But like I say once again, I'm not even sure he gave that statement. I'm not. Because he never got a chance to, uh, you know, to rebuttal that. And furthermore... That statement came up like eight years after he died. Oh, yeah, we did have a statement from him. They never mentioned it all those years previously. They said they couldn't get in contact with him. Then after people raised enough hell, oh, yeah, we did get a statement. I found it in the, uh, my back pocket <laughs> and my old raincoat. Here it is right here. And it was some BS on that, man. You know, it's just important, man, that, you know, when we look at these things, right, that we, we, we raise the right questions. You know, a lot of times, you know, our active imaginations can run and, you know, one idea leads to the next idea. But, you know, what was true and what was factual, we shouldn't let them just sweep under the rug because, you know, I think it's very important. I really do. You know, who knows? Maybe 50 years from now. Maybe, you know, 100 years from now when all of us are long gone. You know, somebody's going to tell 
exactly what they know and exactly what happened. Because, like I said, if it was just Orlando Anderson, and yes, I do believe Orlando was the trigger man because he bragged about it. But I also believe it was so many things put in motion to help Orlando be successful with not only the murder of Tupac, but also the getaway and the cover up. It's a lot of people and pieces involved, man. A whole lot of. Well, anyway, I need you guys to share and like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. This is Machiavelli Media. Only your man, your homie Gab, can do it like this, man. And you know that. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace. Faith in our law, believe in me and this plastic. Cause so far I done witnessed too many dead niggas in caskets. Yafufula was a name that a lot of people have thrown back in our faces. There was one witness, Yafufula said that he could identify the shooter.